Hey Yoni. Okay, so the way I got the ideas for these exercises is um, a couple of months ago I read a post. I was conversing with a girl on the Labor Tear Recovery Group and she was saying how she was able to get before surgery. In the surgery, she needed five anchors to reattach the labrum and she was in excruciating pain. She reckoned she was in a constant pain level of seven to eight, like 24 hours a day. And then she saw this physical therapist in Boulder and he got her down to like a, an occasional one to two pain over a six month period. I was like, it was like the most amazing story I'd ever heard. And so I searched for him and I found in him and he was gracious enough to like he's booked out for weeks in advance. He definitely doesn't need my business, but like I was, he, he was just kind enough to be willing to try to help me. So I've been talking to him over Skype and paying by visa. Okay. Anyway, so so he told he's told me a couple of really important things about like improving the pain with this having labeled tears. Okay, because most of them are you know anterior or superior. Okay, so he said you've got to try to strengthen the glute muscles because he said it's really important to you know strengthen in particular the lateral rotators. Okay, so if you don't know what they are. I've, I've got them up on my screen here. It's it's like the piriformis, the obturator internus externus, the, I don't even know how you pronounce it, the superior gramellus and the inferior gramellus, okay? All those rotators in the hip, he said that that really stabilizes the hip and, and helps it sit in a good orientation in the hip joint, okay? In the hip socket. Um, and... And also like strengthening the glute medius, glute minimus, glute medius and the glute max over there, okay? So, but he said like in order to do that, you need to, um, to, because for me the problem was every time I try to strengthen, the pain would get worse. Like the, trying to do any of the glute strengthening exercises would just aggravate the pain and I would go to like a 10 out of 10 pain, okay? Like because this exercise will aggravate the tear. So, okay, so, so he said we have to figure out exercises to do that don't aggravate the tear while we're doing them. Okay, so, but some of the ones that he suggested to me were still aggravating the tear. So I figured out ways to not aggravate the tear. So what I do is I literally always try to make sure when I'm doing the exercises that I've found, I am literally physically pulling the femur back so I'm pulling the ball of the socket back to the to the back of the socket, to the back of the cup. Okay, I've got to answer the phone. Back and tick. Okay, you'll have to excuse the noise because my stepfather's mowing. So um, so what I did was the first exercise, uh, so I use this, it's like TheraBend a lot, but it's not strong enough. And the other day off eBay I ordered some other kind of, stronger resistance band but that hasn't come yet but this TheraBand kept breaking right so then I thought to um, just use like a bicycle tube look out rainy see that bicycle tube just tie bicycle tie tube okay so and I've just tied it around here okay and I put this sheepskin there um, just to make it softer so the first one I and I use this um, yoga blocks okay so what I do the first one I do is I just get under here obviously you've got to be careful not to hurt your hips and you have to excuse this yellow stuff on my legs it's iodine um, I put it on my skin sometimes let it absorb through anyway so then I get this a bit of TheraBand like this and and to try, to try to push, try to get this tubing to push my femur back so the ball gets to the back of the socket while I'm doing the exercise, I get this yoga block and I sit under it, okay? So it's kind of, this tire tubing is pulling down on my femur more, right? So the first exercise I do is this one. Where it's like a clam, but I'm um, um, just on my back, you see. And so, and this is strengthening, this is working on those 
deep rotator muscles, okay? And the glute med and minimus, okay? And I just do, if I can do 50 of these slowly and three sets, I'm happy. But I don't always do that many. And then the other one I do is I take my feet out and I do this. And it seems to work on a different, different muscles, okay? Slightly different musculature. I can feel it pulling in a different way. But you've got to be careful with your hip, not to hurt your hip. So you might need to bring your feet in a bit closer, okay? So I probably do three sets of 50 if I do get that many. Um, like probably in a, a combination of with my feet like this and my feet like this, okay? So then the other one I do is I don't move from here and um, I, I got this bread box here. See, so it's just a bread box. And I put these sheet skins over it for comfort, cushion. And this next exercise, this work, works my, I think it works more on my glute max, okay? So I bring the thing like this and I, my lumbar spine on the bread box and I do this. So I'm lifting up and I'm really concentrating on squeezing my glutes, okay? Because I really want to activate those glutes, okay? And then I might separate my feet a little bit like that. And again, if I could do three sets of 50, that's really good, okay? So again, I'm doing a glute strengthening exercise and when I'm pushing up on this bicycle tubing, it's pushing my femur, my ball to the back of my socket, see, up, kind of off the tear while I'm doing the exercise, okay? Okay, so that's, that's the second one and I'll take it over to another setup I've got, I'll show you the next one. Okie dokie. So for this next one, again I've got a few bits of TheraBand that I've tied to the railing. And this is a glute max exercise again. And um, and I put some, you know, of this sheepskin over it to make it more comfortable. And so, and I've got a few foam rollers here just to help me push out from the wall. And so I get down like this and I've got the pillows for my knees here and I use this up here like this is just the window, window sill and what I find is um, like you think maybe just to put a chair here like this and do this but it doesn't work the same I really need something I can hold on to I feel like up here or if I had something here because I find that just this body orientation helps me get a better workout on my glute max, okay? So, and again, you can see that the TheraBand is pulling my ball, hip ball, to the back of my socket again, okay? Off the worst part of the tear, or the worst part of the labrum. So, I just push forward, and not... Uh, not 100% forward because that can aggravate the, the tear, the label tears. So I just maybe push forward just, you know, before I get too straight up like that, okay? So this. And I'm, I'm really concentrating on squeezing my glute max, you know, um, in them. And again, if I can do three sets of 50, that's really good. But often I don't achieve that many. Um, but you know, if I can do as many as I can. That's good, okay? And with this exercise, you can really feel it burning in the glutes very quickly, which means it's really working well, okay? Okay, so, show you the next one. So this one I just figured out the other day, okay, because I'm always trying to think of new ways to do these exercises. So another one I thought of, and this is like really for like a glute me, glute min exercise, 
is I put the third band on around my knees and um, what I do is I step back and to the side like this and I bring the leg in and I like this, okay? But this TheraBand's a bit loose. Normally I like it really tight so it's got more resistance and I do this, okay? And I, and I bend my knees a little bit like this and after a while I can feel a definite, you know, working out of my, of my glute med and maybe my glute med. Now, I've thought about going forward like this, all right, but I just wonder how much TFL I'm working. Like, I'm, I'm reluctant to work the TFL too much, you know. I'm reluctant to work any muscle that has a tendency to overcompensate for, you know. Yeah, overcompensate when you've got dysfunction, and I think TFL can be one of those. So I, 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 try, I tend not to go do the forward movement like this, but I will literally like walk, you know, take my dogs for a walk, doing this the whole way, okay? Okay, I'll show you another one. So this one I do is I use a ball. This is like a squat against a wall, and I use this. This is non-elastic, so it doesn't, I can pull, and it doesn't, it's not bendy. Um, and I like this one because, I don't know, it just keeps my hips more stable when I'm doing this exercise. So this is the, like I said, just like a glute squat, okay? And again, in this orientation, I'm, I'm, if you think about it, I'm pushing the socket, the ball, to the back of the socket, okay? Again, taking the strain off the tear when I'm doing this exercise, okay? so. Well, if I go too low, obviously that's going to aggravate the tear, okay? So, this really works quads a lot more. It's not like my favourite exercise, but um, they say when you're doing this exercise, you shouldn't put your knees over the front of your toes. So, um, but, and I really try to poke my bum out because I feel that I get more of a workout in the glutes. And this would be like more of a glute max exercise, I think, okay? So, like this, and if you want even more, want to work your glutes, you might get a watermelon or whatever, and I put it here, and I can feel that that weight helps me get more of a workout in the glutes, okay? Like that. Okay, now before I go, I just want to show you a bit of my veggie guns. Show you what I've got growing at the moment. Yeah, so they're the glute exercises that I've figured out so far to do, which don't hurt the hurt the lay, hurt the front of me, like, aggravate the pain too much, and definitely can feel a difference in the stability of my hip. Uh, yeah, so it's encouraging. And um, just going to show you a bit of my veggie garden. So this is just a tiny little bit. I've got heaps of veggie garden, um, just shallots. There's a cucumbers growing. Um, my veggie garden's probably four times the size of this in total. There's just a little bit. So I've got lettuce and chard and uh, kale and celery down there growing at the moment. So yeah, so I grow my veggies all year round. Alrighty. Okay. Um, thanks for Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and you know, if you've got any questions just let me know if I haven't haven't explained anything good enough for you. Okay, I'll see you later.